Hi folks, I'm Nathan. I'm going to show you how to use the barcode inventory scanner. So let's get started. Go ahead and click on the icon there to open it up. When you first open up the app, it'll take you to the information screen. Um, in order to use the app, you have to load in a CSV file, a spreadsheet. And to help us get started, I'm going to use the example one that's on the website. Okay. Go down here, and I'm just going to download that CSV spreadsheet. Um, so you'll notice here I have a spreadsheet that has barcodes in one column, assets in another, uh, the value, the room number, home. Um, so there's a there's two different homes. There's the Brady home and the Seegers home, and the purchase date. Now the nice thing about the barcode inventory scanner it doesn't matter what kinds of uh, columns you have here, as long as you have a barcode column, uh, a name of your asset column, uh, a room, and uh, lo a location and a sublocation, um, it will spit out the exact same formatted CSV file with the updated results. So let's go ahead and load this in and see what that looks like. Open in inventory. Okay, so now we just got to tell uh, the app which columns are, are which. So we'll set our barcode is this barcode one, and I'll set the name to be the asset column set the location so location uh, for example you may have multiple buildings and then within that building you have multiple room numbers and so location would be um, the the home in this scenario and then the sub location would be the room okay the sub location is optional you don't have to use it um, <coughs> but in this case it works well to use both. So I'll import those. Okay, and that's gonna wipe out whatever inventory I have going in there right now. I don't have anything, so that's fine. It's not gonna wipe anything out. Just giving you a warning there. All right, so here are all the assets imported in here. Uh, I can tap on any given one and see the full uh, details on that, on that item. Um, so let's go ahead and get started by scanning a barcode. Okay, so I printed off this um, this map right here, and it's on the website as well if you want to um, just kind of do a sample inventory. And all I have to do is get down, I'm going to pretend like I'm actually walking through this building room by room. So here we go, I'm going to get down here on this barcode and it checks it against the spreadsheet and it says hey are you in the garage yep that's where we are I'm gonna scan the other one that's in the garage and it just scans it right away it matches the location on the spreadsheet with where I where I scanned the previous item and it says hey you're in the same location let's just keep going so you can scan multiple items really quick now I'm gonna move into the uh, kitchen so so now uh, it says, where is this table? Well, it's in the uh, morning room. So I'll go ahead and check that. And then I'm, oh, it's scanning barcodes as we go. So now I'm going to move into this other room over here, the Texas room. And if you're having a hard time getting it to focus, you can just shake your, shake your device, and it will force the camera to focus. And this is in the Texas room, yep. So and then I'm going to scan this this one right here. Let's say I want to let's say I have a barcode here that won't scan because it's been scratched or damaged in some way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel, and now I can do manual entry. And now you can just read that number on the barcode, so it's. One, two, three, five, four. Enter. And sure enough, that one is checked off as being in the Texas room as well. So let's let's have a look here. Um, at the at the bottom of my control panel here, 
um, I have all Seegers and Texas room and this is looking at my current location um, <clears throat> I can look at all the items in the Texas room and I see by the red highlights there's two left that I still haven't found I need to scan and make sure that they're there um, I can look at all the items at the Seegers house um, and I can look at all the items on my inventory spreadsheet both the Brady's house and the Seegers house as you're scanning you'll be able to see what items you have left they will rise to the top and they will be highlighted in red these are the items you have left to find in your inventory so in the Seegers house I still need to find the MacBook Pro the king-size bed and the sofa chair um, so I'm gonna go to the master bedroom next Okay, there's the master bedroom. Good, we're in the master bedroom. We scan that. Let's scan this one. Remember to shake it if it's not focusing. And that should be it. Now we just need to find the MacBook Pro in the study. So we'll go back into the study and see if we can find it. You know, I don't see anything in here that looks like a MacBook Pro. This one we've already scanned. Yeah, and that's in the study, but that's not it. So we have one item that we couldn't find, and that's fine. That's, that's going to happen. Let's say there is an item that wasn't on your inventory list that you scanned. So I have a library book here. Let's see if I can scan this barcode. Okay, so this, this barcode was not uh, found on my list, so I need to enter the name of it. And I'll call this Polar Express. Book. And because the last item I scanned was in the study, it thinks I'm still in the study, I can update my location if I want, but I am still in the study so I will say done and now um, that item should be added to the study there's the Polar Express and the barcode that goes with it okay so let's say I'm done scanning all the items I can find in the Seegers house I'll go ahead and press the share button and here I can send myself a spreadsheet of the results so let's have a look at what that looks like okay so here is the email that I that I just sent myself with the updated inventory let's open that up see what it looks like okay so the rooms have been updated you can see the items that were not found have been uh, annotated as such as not found and here is the um, Polar Express book that I added at the bottom here with the location and there you have it start to finish using the barcode inventory scanner to update your inventory